Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, um, we're doing something very big. I'm trying to knock out a major part of this car right now, which is the fuel system. As you can see, I got these guys mocked up here. Um, yes, brand new wrenches. So excited for these. Um, but, clamps. Look at that baby. Oh yeah. She's pretty much all set up. Um, just need to work these little lines from the FPR to the ethanol sensor and then to the uh, fuel filter for the, the feed line. Return line is our setup. I'm pretty much in. And then I just knocked out this guy. Oh yeah, look at that. She is in there. All bolted up and everything, so. Sorry about the noise. There's, there's lots of people today since it's a Saturday. Um, come this side. Let's see. Still got six feet of this line. And we still got a little bit of this guy. I can pull through a little bit. This guy a little bit, so. Just got to cut off excess of this. And then this is the return line. Or, no, this is the feed line. So I need to cut this to fit the Y fitting. Um, wherever that went. Where'd that go? It's right there. So I need to cut this guy to fit this and then measure um, how much I need to go on <clears throat> that will fit onto the hangers itself. So um, I did have a thought the other day. I got the adapters, the 6AN female to 8AN female, but I was just looking at it and like those look pretty tall. But yeah, so I gotta figure out if this height is gonna clear and like fit with the seat and stuff. So if not, I gotta figure something else. Um, I still have these guys. I, I was supposed to return them, but I haven't yet. So I guess if this doesn't fit, I can see if I can mock these up or get these in there. Um, but yeah. Um, so that's where we're at right now. Since our, everything's already bolted up to the bottom of the car, I'm gonna drop the car, actually. Um, and then we're gonna work all inside here today. Um, so, cause I gotta measure. Well, first I'm gonna clean this guy up a little bit um, and then drop it back in, even though it does not have any filters on it. The filters were supposed to come today cause I was wanting to drop it and then just, you know, leave it in there. But no filters yet, um, so I'm going to have to drop it temporarily. And then we'll start doing some measuring and some cutting and get everything uh, test fitted um, before I have to pull it out and, you know, put the filters in and then put everything back in and officially bolt everything up. So, so yeah, let's get to some measuring and cutting. Hey guys, so uh, I didn't time lapse any of that um, because I'm still like, prepping to do like actual uh, cutting and stuff, getting everything in. Um, but I decided to try to fit everything. Focus, obviously that's not fitted. Um, I fitted the seat with these guys um, and the adapters. The adapters make them like an inch way too tall and so yeah that's the difference between like one clearance for the seat but two clearance for the cover um as you can see with that dash six an right there for the crossover hose um obviously clears a lot um but with the dash a a n adapters with the 90 degrees did not clear at all so 
So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to use dash eight AM line. I'm still going to use that Y fitting to dash eight AN. Um, but I'm going to use dash eight to dash six AN swivel and then connect that adapter to the dash six AN 90 degree onto the hanger itself. So it'll be a dash six on the hanger and the fittings and then it'll convert to dash a a a eight a n the rest of the way um i'm going to halt everything for now um as you can see i have her on the ground now i shouldn't have to lift her up um actually i lied i do because i still have to do these sway bars so that'll be the last lifting of her and there, there's some scraping going on in the back wheel so i gotta figure out if it's like the the dust the dust plate or like the parking brake or something so have those couple things under the car and then i shouldn't be needing to go under the car but i was going to try to fit everything else here but i need to cut all that hose i have back there and so I don't know exactly how much I need back there now. And now I have to order more fittings. So, yay. Fun stuff. So, that's going to end it tonight. We'll see you in a couple days. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today, uh, I just want to try to finish up this video this weekend. Um, so I can get another one out for you guys. Um... We are going to undo these guys. Yay, more piston rings. So, as you can see, part number, part number match. And it has all the sizes for the rings and all those ring sizes match. So, got new rings in so I can finally not mess up. Um, and get these guys done. I am going to confirm the ones I've already done. Um, so I did the top ring for number three, and then I only completed one. Oh, that's what I did. Put it back in the box. I only completed piston number one. But I'm gonna double check those. Um, and then, yeah. So, obviously, the, with this order, these piston rings coming in. I got the valve. Uh, so, with this order coming in, this came with the valve guides. And I got this guy, which is, oh, it's not in there. I think it's on the piston. It's the Company 23 piston drop sleeve or ring compressor i guess you can call it um so the guys are at the shop um i didn't tell them about the retainer because they have a policy where they don't start a job until they have all the parts and so i just didn't want them waiting around for one tiny little retainer but on that i think i found them on ebay um, I messaged the guy on eBay. He hasn't messaged me back. There's a whole set of them for 150, um, which he does free returns within 14 days. So I guess I can buy it, or buy all of them. And if they fit, then I can just replace all of them, um, which is not really necessary. I'll just have 15 spare retainers <laughs> um, that fit the uh, super tech dual valve springs um which i'm like 90 percent sure those valve springs i have and that whole or the spring retainer set is from super tech the valves obviously are for for uh ferrera ferrera 1020 p's um and then obviously i got gsc um guides and gsc seals now so 
and then stage two GSC cams. I think that lift on those stage two is like 272 or something like that. Um, the shop said they're 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 doing like an entire valve job, which their entire valve job means they do valve lash, um, like pretty much everything. So I I gotta double check to see if they're they're gonna measure poundage on the springs and like the spring rate and stuff, just to make sure they get the lift right. Um, I have a crap ton of extra valve buckets because of the OEM. Uh, w25 head i bought came with a whole fresh set of springs buckets valves and oem uh cams and so i gave them all that and so they should have enough sizes to hopefully hopefully um get those cams all situated but let's start jumping into to these guys i'm going to take my time this time and I've learned a lot of lessons from last time. Um, like for example, there's my old rings. For example, um, I know somewhere I said that they say you should uh, grind both sides, um, but I forgot in the instructions it says to leave the side with the number not grinded so it's parallel and so i mean that's pretty parallel but i know this one's off um i th i think i'll go uh i don't know i'm still debating on whether to go tighter with my measurements or not because i'm doing like street moderate turbo um, cause it's definitely not high performance. I, it, I guess it could be high performance street, but this is going a little bit tighter. Um, and so I think I calculated this at 20 foul and this at 22 foul. So pretty close together. Um, but these, these are like the biggest sizes I've seen. Or heard about having so but according to these instructions from JE themselves um, that's where the ring gap should be sitting yeah that's that's what I'm gonna do I'm still debating if I should go like a thou or two like tighter maybe um, maybe go like 19 and 21 or something like that um, but yeah so the, the, the things I've learned from last time um, was I was doing this backwards so I needed the grinder to be like this and so I can have it set up like this hold it like this and I have to move this grinder to the other side so I can use my right hand. And then I, I was doing it right when I was pushing up against it, but like not, I got to not do it so much. And then I got to really focus and make sure it's like flat, not like angled like that or that, just flat like that. And then do only like three to four turns and then take it off, put it in the bore, measure, come back, and just keep in like like three, four turns at a time. Instead, I'd do I was doing like ten or something like that. I was taking so much material off, and so that's why these guys are screwed. So, um, but yeah, let's get cooking. Hey guys, uh, it's the next night. Um, I wasn't able to work on anything this morning but I just knocked out all the pistons. So, uh, step into the future now, these are done. Um, I boxed them up because my plan for everything is, is I wanna take these up to my office, um, which is slash the guest room. 
Um, I was using it originally for the build because it was so cold. So I wanted to keep it like temperature and stuff. Um, and that that's when I was measuring the, uh, the journals. Um, so, but I, I want to do it in a cleaner environment besides the, you know, the garage. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll probably drag all the stuff up there tonight. Um, and I'm just waiting for the new, uh, standard X journals. Um, waiting for the rods to come back. Um, also waiting for a different rod bolt because one of, I think it's this guy that's in, uh, defective. The stretch was just all whack. Um, and then wait for all the heads and the rods to come out of the shop. So I did find a, the retainer. They're made by, it's like Temple Racing Company. I don't know. Um, I think they're like a super tech brand, but on eBay, it says brand super tech and they match exactly like picture to picture of what I have. So I messaged the guy to see if I can get one. He hasn't messaged me back yet. So I might just buy the whole set um, and say screw it at this point um, because I know Probably this week, the guys from the machine shop are going to call me and say, hey, we got to stop your job because we don't have this one retainer when we're doing these valves. So I know that's coming. So if I don't hear anything from him tomorrow, I'll order it tomorrow night just so I can get it shipped in ne next week. Um, just anticipating, you know, the guys calling me. Um, but yeah, hopefully end of next week, I can get everything else in and then I can get you know all the rods measurements finished and done journal measurements finished and done then once I do that I can assemble so the goal is by next weekend to conduct final assembly on this guy at least short block because I know I have to order well, I have I have a gauge already, but I, I have to order a uh, oh, shoot. What's it called? The deck clearance tool, where it like sits right here, and I have the pistons in. I crank it over. And I determine like the uh, deck clearance. Um, I did buy these head gaskets already, which they're RCM and they're 0 0.78. Um, so, I mean, that's what I'm anticipating. Um, I'm anticipating having debt clearance as normal at 0.4. I think, I think it's 0.4. So, hopefully that works out and I don't have to buy new head gaskets. Um, I'm going to go over my numbers real quick with you guys. So, I redid everything on... I redid, like, all the, all the piston rings because I ended up... You know, I want to get 19,000, not 20,000 these guys now. And but I want to keep, I wanted to keep it 22, but this one on piston one was not 22, it was 23. So I had to scrap that and then I went through, got 22 and got 19. The T and the S is just like smooth and then tight. If it was tight and at the measurement, I, I'm just Charlie miking it, just sending it. But yeah. Got 19 and 22s all the way down. Went pretty smoothly. As as soon as I watched, um, I'll, I'll link the all these videos right here right now. Um, watched the HPA. So I'm going to link all the videos of all these notes I, I took from those. Um, and the videos are, there's one from HPA, which is like a free lesson from them, which is really good, goes really in depth. And then one also from... Uh, street racing performance, I think, or something like that. Um, I'll, I'll list them up all right here. I'll, obviously, I watched media as well, um, but those two guys were, uh, those two other videos were really in-depth and really um, explained. 
like the, the nitty gritty of piston rings. Also, there's an article by HPA that I read today that really helped out, helped me really understand how pistons rings works. This article really helped me understood how piston rings work and it had a lot of really good information. And so it really helped me in understanding like why I need to grind it and how I need to grind it. So, I mean, hopefully, hopefully I don't get too much blow by. I shouldn't because the top ring is tighter. Um, but I know a lot of people run like the high performance JE recommendations, which is like 0 0.045 times your bore diameter. And so most people, it comes like the top ring comes out to like 14 or 15 thou. And then the bottom ring, most people are from what I've seen, a lot of people do like 17 or like 17 to 20. So that's you know, considerably bigger. But my tuner said go with what JE says in the recommendations and according to the calculations from them, this is where the bottom ring should be at. Um, the recommendation said like 20 thou, um, but I wanted to tighten that a little bit. So that's why it's just down to 19, so. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up the video for this weekend. Um, I, don't, I don't think I'll be getting to anything else tomorrow. Um, if so, um, I'll probably be finishing up um, just some like the ethnic pipe right there. Just, you know, tighten everything down. Just a little things. Maybe some of the like, interior trimming and stuff. I can't do anything with the sway bar because the bolts I ordered, well, they do fit the holes. It's just the brackets. The brackets I ordered don't fit the bushings. So, all right guys, if you guys enjoying the build, go ahead, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe to Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one.